Hello and welcome to today's video on High Altitude Investing. In today's video, I'm going to be doing from start to finish technical analysis on NEO. So let's get right into this. All right, so I'm on the NEO dollar chart and I'm gonna start on the five day time frame, mainly just to draw trend lines and get a big picture idea of what's going on here. Um, I will say initially that the NEO chart looks very similar to the Ethereum chart. So let me just go ahead and pull up the Ethereum chart real quick and show you their similarities. So um, let me just go ahead and remove this. So they are very similar charts. As you can see, you have a little pump wave right here. And then you have the beginning of the three wave starting. Here's the first pump in the three wave. Here's that set, or uh, here's the three wave in the three wave. Um, and then we should be making a fifth wave um, in the three wave for Ethereum. So if we look at NEO and kind of apply that, apply that same theory. Okay, NEO dollar. It's good to look at the NEO uh, dollar Bitrex if you can. NEO Ethereum, here we go, calculated by TradingView. This one just has the most data. So NEO looks very similar to Ethereum. You have um, a first little pump here and then you have the one wave in the three wave and then you have the three wave in the three wave and we should be making a five wave soon right so let's draw our trend lines here on the five day now I am using candlesticks here uh, normally I've been switching my candlesticks over to bars like this I'll just show you and if you guys want to learn more about TradingView, there's a little bit more information on that at the end of this video. Oops, not line. It's a great tool, helps you become a profitable cryptocurrency trader. I've been using this um, lately. It just looks better. It seems to be easier to do TA on, a little bit more cleaner. But I figured since you guys are going to be watching this, I need to do something that's a little more visible. Those aren't as visible on the smaller um, time frames. So let's just take this with our candlesticks and I will draw a support trend line. Our first support is at about five cents. The next support's at about $5. The next support after that's at about $18. Next after that is about 35. And we just landed some support at about 50. So we'll just draw connecting those points. And it's okay to have the wicks go through the bottom of your trend line a little bit. Um, you have to remember that nothing is 100% perfect. It is pure human emotion and humans trading these charts. So they might wick a little bit below trend lines sometimes. People will panic sell, think that it's, you know, dying and the world is over. Um, but really, as long as you focus on buying in or around near that trend line, you're good. So uh, let's get into the wave count. This is the subwaves of the three wave. Um, here's the one wave. I'll just go ahead and draw a little one here. Oops. Let me go back. That was a fail. Okay. So we just want to draw one wave here. And then this is the subwaves of the three wave. So we'll count the subwaves in the three wave. This would be a one, two, three. Four. Notice how the four landed right on top of the one. That's very common. And then we should have a five wave coming out of this. Like that. Oops. Right, there we go. All right, now finding a target on that five wave, how do you do that? Well, to find targets with Elliott waves, you want to use the Fibonacci extension tool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. If you want exactly how to do this and where to put it properly so that you aren't messing up when you search for your targets, then go ahead and buy my VIP course. More information on that at the end of the video as well. All right, so the five wave generally lands between the one and the two or 1.236 uh, Fibonacci extension. So that's a great spot to set our targets for uh, NEO over the next couple months here. And we'll just take this, make sure that five wave is right on point here. Okay, just like that. And then that's, that's really your first target in the next wave up. 
Um, sometimes I do go up to the 1618 or the 1786, but generally between these two areas is your safest and most probable target. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Before you go, I've got a couple things to announce. My new website is out and running, and it's got a forum, it's got signals, you'll get an email every time that I post a trade setup, and it's really, really, really nice. The new VIP areas look nice and clean, so if you aren't a VIP member yet, go ahead to highaltitudecrypto.io and get signed up there. The other thing is the TradingView course is finally out. So if you are trying to learn TradingView, it's $99 for a limited time only. So go over to highaltitudecrypto.io and pick up that TradingView course and get started learning all of this information. So I appreciate you tuning in today. I hope that you've learned something. As always, stay profitable.